today I want to have a quick chat with you about Baker Street. The great thing about the Baker Street solo is it only uses a few notes, so it's really cool if you're just getting started. First things first though, go to mcgillmusic.com and there's a PDF for the lesson on there. Okay, so the solo only uses a few notes. So here's here's the first, uh, well here are all the notes actually that it uses. High D uses a palm key here with the octave key. So high D, C sharp, which is no fingers, B, A, F sharp, and uh, middle D, which is six fingers and the octave key at the back. So those are the notes. Once again, D, C sharp, B, A, F sharp, and D. Now the solo, this, well there's four sections of solo in the on the whole track. They're all kind of based on the same thing and if you really break it down to its you know its building blocks there's four main phrases that he uses over and over. So let's look at those one at a time. First phrase uh, it starts with um, what we call a gliss where he goes from the middle D all the way up to the high D. If you haven't done a gliss before there's kind of two elements to a gliss. The first is your fingers and what, what I'm doing there is kind of like a chromatic scale. So I'm going from D all the way up the notes to high D. And the second thing is I'm using my embouchure, my mouth, to kind of scoop and bend that note up. So you do that by relaxing this a bit and then tightening it up as you get to the high note. And when you put those two elements together, it gives you a really smooth gliss. So here's the first phrase. It goes like this. And the notes, D to high D with that gliss, C sharp, B, A, and then B again. So once again, D up to high D, C sharp, B, A, B. Okay, the second phrase sounds like this. So the notes there, again with the gliss, D up to high D, C sharp, B, A, and then two F sharps. And what he does there is a bit of a scoop in between. So he goes F, F, do, wah. Kind of scoops his jaw there. Oh, wah. <laughs> so those notes again on the second phrase. D up to high D, C sharp, B, A. And then that scoopy thing on the F sharp. Do, wah. Okay, the third phrase goes like this. And there's no, there's no gliss on this one, but the notes are F sharp up to high D, C sharp, B, A, and then he does this scoopy thing again on the A. A, 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 down to F sharp. Now I don't think he tongues them, I think he just uses a scoop with his jaw. So he goes wah, 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 and then down to the F sharp. So it sounds like this. So I'm just relaxing my jaw there, wah, 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 kind of like that. It looks a bit crazy, doesn't it? But that's how it works. Okay, the fourth phrase sounds like this. It's exactly the same as the first phrase, but without the gliss. So this one actually starts on the F sharp. F sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, B. And then up to C sharp, back down to the B again. So the fourth phrase again, F sharp up to high D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, B. So if you put all four phrases together, it sounds like this. So that's the first half of the opening solo for Baker Street. The second half is almost identical to that. There's just a few little things he does that's different. But it's basically that. The whole thing's transcribed on the PDF. I think there's three more sections where he does a bit of saxophone. But you know what? It's all based on those four phrases. So if you check them out and use the PDF as a guide, I reckon you'll be able to work it out. Have a lot of fun with that and good luck with your saxophone journey.